So you want to learn how to make textures shadeless in Blender 2.8. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at uh, at what I just said, making image textures uh, shadeless. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, delete on default cube. I'm sorry. We're gonna be using a plane today. I'm gonna hit Shift A and scroll on down to Image Images as Planes. Now, if you don't have that. You can always go up to edit preferences and then go ahead and type in images and then images as planes should be right there. Just make sure that's checked and then we go ahead and hit save preferences. We can close that out now. All right. So shift a uh, image images planes. Let me go ahead and find the uh, the picture that we want to use as our texture, which is this bad boy right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit import images as planes. And now you can see uh, when I go to render viewport shading, we now have that uh, that picture in the scene, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go to the world tab and turn the color all the way to black. So the world is black. It has to scale this bad boy up a little bit and RX 90 negative on my numpad uh, to rotate that. Now you can see we can't see it at all. That's because our light is now behind our plane. So we got to hit G to move our plane. If you select the light up here, hit G right there, just move it around. Uh, but you can see it has shade. It has shading to it, which is not what I want because it's a it's a texture. So we're gonna fix this by splitting our window into two from the left hand side over here. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard to get rid of that panel right there, and I'm gonna change this to the shader editor. Boom, right there, and get rid of this panel as well. Now you can see when we have this image texture, uh, it kind of jumbles up all this stuff over here, which is not good. We don't really need most of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my overlays off by hitting this little button right here too. Turn that off. Now we can get rid of pretty much everything here. Actually, we can get rid of literally everything here except for this image texture. So we can go ahead and hit B to box select all three of these and hit delete. We don't need that. Um, now what we're going to do is hit Shift A and we're going to search for an emission shader. It's a very simple, easy way to do this. We're going to go ahead and plug that that texture into the emission shader and the emission shader into the material output. And now you can see if I go to uh, my scene tab and change the color management from filmic to standard. You can see now I have the image texture the way that it is supposed to be. Uh, if I hook a diffuse up to this, you can see the difference. Um, this has shading to it. You can see that it's like the light is brighter over here and it's dark over here. Then I can just hook that emission shader back on up and you can see that that shading is all gone now. If we bump this past one, it will be actually emission and it won't look proper. So just leave that on one. One is not emitting anything. It's just making it bright like it's supposed to be so that's a super easy way of making your image textures and textures shadeless in blender 2.8 eevee hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye